Our Father's wondrous works we see in the earth and sea and sky. He rules o'er all in majesty from his royal throne on high. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Reigning now above on his throne of love. What a mighty God we serve. The raging winds and waves are calm when he says to them, be still. The heavens praise him in a song and the angels do his will. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Reigning now above on his throne of love. What a mighty God we serve. Our God to save from sin's control gave his son a sacrifice. His grace abounding in the soul makes the earth a paradise. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Reigning now above on his throne of love. What a mighty God we Take a few minutes to greet your neighbors around you. page 732. Page 732, we'll sing all three verses. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar, for the Father waits over the way. For 
this morning. We're excited as we dive into a near, new series today, The Table. And, uh, and so as we dive into this, we're really going to be looking at the moments of, that Jesus taught around a table. And, and those profound moments, they meant not only for those that were there, but for us today as we read through it. And as we go into this time together, this time of prayer and of, of song, we want to take a moment. Normally on the first Sunday of the month, we would have this time of communion during this prayer time. But I'm actually preaching at the table about the communion. And so we're going to be waiting to have this time of communion at the end of service today as kind of a time of response. And so we're kind of breaking the mold. I know it's not even what the bulletin says. I mean, it's crazy. And, uh, but, but we're breaking the mold and we're going to do these things a little bit differently today. But what is the same is that, as we say every Sunday, if you have a need that's on your heart, we invite you to come and pray. And you don't have to wait until the end of service uh, to know that there are those who want to pray for you right now. And so during this next song, as we sing, we invite you to come uh, to pray. If you'd like someone to pray with you, just to raise your hand. We'd love to come and pray with you. You know, we have many things within our community, uh, within our church family to be in prayer for. Uh, one of those things is, uh, we, as we're looking at our daycare, our daycare has uh, just been a blessing. Uh, it's been really neat to see God moving, especially through this past year. And, and Miss Peggy, who is uh, our director over that daycare, she's been doing a phenomenal job. Um, but she is also uh, one person. <laughs> and so one person can only do so much. And, and as she's looking at possibly kind of uh, tapering off some of her hours in the months to come, uh, we're needing some help up at the daycare. And so if, if you're administrative in nature, if you'd like to uh, talk with uh, the daycare board about possibly coming on staff at the daycare, we would love to uh, just let you know that those, that position is going to be coming available. And we would love to begin to look at people who maybe feel like God is calling you to serve in this great uh, ministry that we have here at the church. And so if, if that's you, we want to uh, make that known to you, not only so that you would know it, but so that you can be praying about that and uh, about that position and, and just all of the ways in which God's going to use that to continue to impact families throughout our community. And so we're so thankful for our daycare staff, especially for Miss Peggy. She leads that. They do a great job. And so you get to join a great team uh, if that's you. But we want to be in prayer for that this morning as well. If you have a need that's on your heart, we invite you to come and pray. If you'd like to stand and worship, we invite you to worship. But let's worship the Lord together this morning in spirit and in truth. Let's sing. Yes, ma'am.
You know, that's so neat. Uh, we prayed for you. We prayed for Miss Jean that same day as she was staying in the gap for her grandson. Had her tremendous report that, that, this, that um, following day uh, and week. And so we're just excited to see what God is doing and his answers to prayer. Church prayer works, and we serve a God who heals. And so we can celebrate and sing uh, to the top of our lungs today, knowing the one that we're singing to that he's alive, that he's listening, and that he intercedes on behalf of his people. So let's continue to give God praise and glory. If you would like to pray, these altars are open. Let's sing. Page 336, the first verse. if you'd like to gather around Martha this morning. She's been battling with some physical issues, some seizures that have been taking control. And while she has the doctor appointments lined up that she needs to, we want to pray and ask God to bring healing pray so on her heart and on her life, on her body. So whether you're gathered at the front this morning or in your seat, we just invite you to bow your head as we go to the Lord in prayer. Yes, Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you for all that you have done. Praise Lord. Lord, and for the fact that you promised that even greater things will take place. Yes. And so God, today as we gather before your throne, Lord, we lift up Martha to you, Lord, and we ask that you would bring healing to her body. Lord, we know that these seizures have been affecting her even last Sunday as she was sitting in service, Lord God, as she felt them begin to come upon her. Lord, we pray for a removal of those things Lord, from her Lord, life. Touch her. God, we ask that you would heal her completely today. Lord, that as she goes to these doctor visits, Lord God, that they would uh, be astounded, Lord, of the progress, Lord, of the things that have taken place, yes. Lord, of the healing, God, that will go to you. Father, we thank you for your way that you worked. Lord, we hear testimonies even this morning of the way in which you've been answering prayer. So God, we know that you answer prayer, not because of who we are, but because of whose we are Amen. in Jesus Christ. And so God, Thank we give you, you the praise, the glory, and the honor. Father, we lift her up and ask for healing this yes. morning. God, we thank you for all that you've done. Lord God, we pray for the future, Lord, not only of Rock Creek Church of God, Lord, in the way in which you're moving throughout this community, but Amen. God, throughout your church, Lord, throughout this community, Lord, yes. those men and women who are calling upon the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, they're meeting in other buildings, but Lord, they're calling upon the same Savior. Praise and so, Father, we just thank you for their life, for their ministry, for their movement within this community, Lord, as they're spreading the seed, God of Jesus Christ, Lord, as they're doing the ministry and the work of the Lord. God, we ask for a harvest, Lord, as your word says, Lord, that you would continue to bring workers to the harvest for the field is, is ripe, yes. Lord, for a harvest. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing, the way in which you're moving. And God, we pray that you would continue to do mighty and powerful things. Lord, we thank of, uh, Lord, the churches throughout our community that are battling. Lord, those who are going through difficult times, Lord God, I know of one personally, Lord, that right now they're really struggling. And Lord, we pray for wisdom upon that church, for yes. healing upon that church. Amen. Lord, that the enemy would not allow a foothold within that church, but Lord, that you would bring about a healing, complete healing Praise throughout every Lord. member of that per thank position, Lord. Lord God. We just thank you for the way in which you're moving. Lord, we just stand upon the rock 
the salvation of Jesus Christ. Lord, we just give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. Lord, we ask that you would continue to move today yeah. as we open up your word, as we sing your praises. Lord, that you would speak to our hearts. Amen. Lord, Thank that you. you would show us where we are with you. And Lord, that we would leave this place knowing who you are, who you've called us to be, and with a joy that can only come from the Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. may be seated. I want to ask our ushers to come forward at this time as we continue to worship through the time of giving. You know, two weeks ago we had a milestone in our church and we wanted to share it last week and last week got so busy and God was moving and, and uh, it just kind of fell to the bottom. But we wanted to lift it up because this is big, church. Uh, two weeks ago, in our 6,000 Reasons campaign, we hit a $100,000 mark that's been raised within this past year. Uh, and that's, that's amazing uh, that you have done that and that you've allowed God to move. Yes. And so we just want to continue to encourage you uh, to know that God is moving, uh, that He's using those dollars that you give uh, to invest within the facility, within this community, and we're excited to see uh, what He continues to do through a church that continues to give. So we want to thank you and say thank you for just really above and beyond your ties, this 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 fell in above and beyond that and within one year raising that amount is, is truly amazing and so thank you so much for your faithfulness in that and, and for your dedication to reach the 6,000 within our community who truly need a relationship with Jesus Christ. David would you say a prayer over our offering today? If everyone will stand, we'll continue in a time of worship.
思いです
You may be seated. 